Good day, my brother and sister, and welcome to the edition. Brothers and sisters, before I start this road, I want to ask you something. When you hear the expression, the land of milk and honey, what do you think about? When you hear the expression, the land of milk and honey, what do you think about? Um, if you go search, you'll find that this means that it's a land that's abundantly fertile, meaning that it's a land that's rich. The soil is rich such that there is an abundance of food. It's a land where there is an abundance of money. There is a land, it's a land where you are not a slave. You're not, you're, you don't have to, 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 to labor in such a way that you are a slave to try and put food on your table. That's the land of milk and honey. Now keep that in mind because it's going to, uh, um, uh, make sense as to why I asked you this question. So today I, I, I have a message and this message is based on a dream that a friend had about me last night. Uh, and I know this was a prophetic dream because the Lord does this. Whenever the Lord, um, I'm trusting the Lord for something and I'm fasting, he will place a dream in somebody else. And that will be to, 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 to keep me going, to, to reassure me that indeed there is something happening in the spirit world and to show me what is coming for me. This very friend was used when I was trusting God for this house, when I kept on coming to uh, this channel saying that God has promised me a house. She was given a dream where I was at a house in the mighty name of Jesus. I will link the video somewhere here because I definitely recorded it. Anyway, uh, my brother and sister, before I go on to this a dream, I want to just talk about this fast because this the, the Lord sent this dream um, to, 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 to reaffirm what we are doing pertaining to this fast that we are going on. And uh, for, for a minute there, before you jump off because I, I mentioned the word fast, I want you to stick around. You who came across this video, don't run because you heard the word fast. Yes, we are on an 11 day fast but stick around because there is a message that the Lord wants to give you right now but to those who are currently on the fast uh, I just want to say that you know when I think of a fast and whatever the duration of the fast is for example we are on an 11 day fast I always imagine those 11 days as climbing a mountain right you're climbing a mountain and you are going to uh, you are heading to the summit so the first few days so for us the first 5.5 days of the fast which we are now currently in it's or we are passing it's, it's you are climbing you are you are climbing to the summit it's hard you, you your lungs are tired your legs are tired you in the in, 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 in when it pertains to the fast you get the spiritual warfare the flesh wants to give in you get all the forms of temptation trying to stop you so that you can go back to where you started so that you can go back to the place of oppression to the place of slavery that's the first few days of the fast then you uh you get to the summit so now you are halfway to to finish in this fast you get to the summit you have done the work you have fought you fought the battle and and now you are at a place when you can admire what, the, the horizon you can admire god's creation now let's talk about the other side of the fast. I like it because we see on this mountain that we are climbing, we are not going to go back the way we came. We are coming out on the opposite side. We are going from this end to the other end. That's what going on a fast is. Now when you are going down, this I believe is the time when God starts to reveal to you what you are going into. He starts to give you revelations of what you are, you, you, you are um, going to acquire as as a result of having gone to him and subdued your your your, your body and your, your spirit humbled yourself to him to seek to see him seek to see his face seek uh, his guidance as pertaining to your life that's going down the hill on this side you start getting revelations during the fast god starts to guide you and reveal the plans he has for you um going forward in the mighty name of jesus this is a beautiful side of the fast on this side you know you don't want to wake up you want to stay in the place because you are enjoying the presence of God and also 
because he's showing you the beautiful things that are coming to you in the future you you don't you don't want to wake up because th this is so good that you just wish that when you wake up in your reality that would be the life you are living in the mighty name of jesus all right now I want to talk about this dream that the, my friend has said, or sorry, sent, because I know it was God telling me um, about this whole journey that we, we just got at, and he is now revealing the things that he is about to do uh, for me. And I am sharing this word so that anybody out there can be encouraged but more importantly i'm sharing it because the bible says that the lord reveals things to us before they happen so that when they do happen we can know that it was him who sent those words and those dreams to us and so that we can get to rely on him and believe in him even uh, um, more mightily so i'm sharing these things so that when on the other side you see me living this life you can say that but God had told her about this before indeed we serve a living God and he is still talking to his children in the mighty name of Jesus all right so this was a voice note I, I, I would play the voice note but it, a lot of it was in my language so I'm going to tell you guys what she said so she says that she, she's been up since 5 a.m. Um, and, and uh, she got this dream and in this dream, I was going to the airport. She was meant to take me to the airport and she is looking for me, but she can't find me. And she, uh, and, 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 and she calls me and she said, friend, I'm supposed to take you to the airport. Where are you? And I said to her, I'm already at the airport. You can come and meet me here. She drives to the airport and we are saying our goodbyes and I tell her that I am going to Abu Dhabi. I'm about to take a flight to Abu Dhabi and the reason why I'm taking the flight to Abu Dhabi is because my son's father has gotten a job there and she's like, what? He's, your son's father has gotten a job there. So wh what does this have to do with you? She's like, I said that because of this job, my son will get to go to a very good school, like one of the best schools in the world. So I was going to join because I can't be too far away from my son. But further, she said that I had gotten a job in the Netherlands. But I, and so she asked me, so what, are you going to continue with your job? What, what are you going to do? She said that, I said that, I, I, I'm not going to take up or I'm, I'm going to um, not work or take up that job. What I'm going to do um, is, is, is just take care of my son because the job where uh, that his father got is so good that he, he's agreed that I can just take care of my son and he will take care of me financially. He will um, take care of my financial needs. So the it, it's such a good job and the money is just so mind-blowing that I wouldn't have to work again in the mighty name of Jesus. All right. One of the first things she said was, I don't know if this is a good dream or a bad dream, but here, anyway, here is the dream. I, I laughed and, and I, I'm going to explain to you why. The reason why she was saying that is because of the relationship we have, um, especially when it comes to money and taking care of the child. Um, when, when, she, when I heard this dream, which is her impression, it's, 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 that's impossible. Um, him not only um, deciding to take care of me financially, that's impossible. It's important. What do, what's your expression when you, you, you wake up from a dream? What's your expression when you hear a dream? The fact that I said that's impossible already was saying God is about to do the impossible in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let's just start at the beginning. Uh, she said that um, she was gonna take me to the airport, but I was already there. Uh, you see my brother and sister a plane represents or being on a plane to, to a place represents ministry, right? And um, when she called me and asked me where I am, I said I was already at the airport. I believe this represents the fact that God um, a, a few days ago, the Holy Spirit prompted me to go on an 11 day fast. I could have said no, right? But I said, yes. 
so her calling me and 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 asking me where i am and i say i'm already at the airport means that i had already accepted the call i was already i had accepted to go on this journey with regards to where god is taking me in my ministry in the mighty name of jesus furthermore um uh, um uh, she says that uh, I was going to Abu Dhabi. I believe that the Lord is saying that uh, he is taking this ministry. This ministry is going to spread and it, a lot of unbelievers are going to consecrate here. A lot of unbelievers are going to end up being here to, to, to feed on the word and get to know God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hence, where the plane was taking me was Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi people there, I believe, are Muslims, right? So God is taking me to a territory where um, he is not necessarily there, like he is not dominant there. Uh, God is taking the ministry to unbelievers in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, furthermore, um, she said that I had also a job offer a good job offer but i wasn't taking that one and i wasn't going to work god is saying that where he is taking me this ministry this plane that i'm taking i'm going on um um I, I i will lack for nothing remember when we went on this fast the lord says that i'm i'm giving you the promise i'm taking you to the promised land the land of milk and honey and in her dream uh, she said the father of your child had so much money that you didn't have to work that's representative of what we are doing as we started and embarked on this journey god was saying i am taking you to the promise i'm taking you to the land of milk and honey you will not have to suffer anymore you are breaking uh, away from uh, oppression. You are breaking away from um, slavery in the mighty name of Jesus. This was symbolic to that. But one, one thing that is important, which is why I believe God presented this dream this way, is, you know, when, when I, in the my physical being, think of my, 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 my son's father, and this dream and the possibility of it coming true like i said you think oh no that's impossible that wouldn't happen so god is saying that he is going to bring the finances because remember in the dream he said he is he's going to take care of me financially so he is going to bring money from unexpected sources god is saying i'm about to bring uh abundance the last video video when i was talking about provision provision is coming he's saying what i am bringing is such an abundance that you will lack for nothing and it's going to be an abundance it's going to be money from unexpected sources where you think it's impossible i am going to make it possible in the mighty name of jesus so that's why um in this case, um, I guess he used the father of my child. And I am revealing these things to you guys, not because I am talking about the person. I'm, I'm trying to show you guys how you should look at your dreams. Um, God uses people, things, and, and places because he knows you. He knows your situation. He knows what you... you um, um, you what you associate people with uh, things with places with so when you wake up from a, a dream and there were certain faces uh, certain places certain things in there what do you associate those things with in the waking life in the mighty name of jesus god is trying to the, the bible says that in the last days his sons and daughters will get dreams and visions god is trying to show his children that he is there and that he is communicating with them and as such what will happen is that the spirit of interpretation will also start to 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 to, to be your friend it will start to reveal things to you so this is some of the things that god has 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 been using me to to do because i've always dreamed since i was a child but i couldn't interpret my dreams but it's only in the three years that i've been with the lord and doing this consistently that he has taught me how to get to interpret the dreams in the mighty name of jesus i couldn't do it on my own 
and I couldn't do it by own, my own might and understanding. The Holy Spirit had to teach me. I had to be a student to the Holy Spirit. And here I am. The Lord is saying, I am going to use this knowledge that I have imparted onto you, this knowledge that you have taken time to acquire by listening to me so that you can also uh, let my children know that I am talking to them and that they should rely on me. Why? Because we are in a place and a season where people are relying on people because they think they have a higher calling than them. People are being used and being abused and traumatized in places where they're supposed to find God. For example, churches, people are being taken advantage of by people who call them prophets, who call themselves prophets of God. But God is trying to, to break from this, this thing that's happening in the world right now. And he is looking to reveal himself to you. He's looking to, re to reveal himself to you so he can give you guidance pertaining to your life so he can give you guidance pertaining to the life of the lives of your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus and once God does that what then will he do he is going to then start to use you expand your territory and get you to like have do an outreach through you so that you can touch the lives of other people. So my brother and sister, as much as this is a beautiful dream saying that I am going to this place, I am sharing it with you so you can understand what God is doing in this season. So you can also be patient on this journey and know that God is talking and God can reveal to you certain things about your life and not only things about your life, about your future and the future of your loved ones. What you have to do is not try to rush. You know, you are a baby. Just don't try to walk before you crawl. Allow the Holy Spirit in and allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you, to teach you. Sometimes you won't get it right, but with time, with humility of spirit, and when you come to God and you say, God, I thought I got it, but I didn't get it. God will correct you and he will make it clear in the mighty name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we are going to the land of milk and honey. I pray that this word blesses you. I am literally just sharing it as the spirit is guiding me. I'm not trying to add any fluff, but I hope this uh, shows you that um, it, it allows you and opens you up to, to, to letting the Holy Spirit uh, to talk to you. Your companion talk to you so he can reveal the things in the heavenly realm that the father the plans that he has for you in the mighty name of Jesus uh, uh, be encouraged for you guys who are on the fast uh, keep pressing on from here you are going to be getting revelations about your life we are going to the land of milk and honey the land that is abundantly fertile in the name of Jesus Brothers and sisters, be blessed. All these things I say in the mighty name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.